Welcome to the Today in History channel. In today's video we will talk about the day. May 21, 1932. Amelia Earhart crosses the Atlantic. On May 20, 1932, Amelia Earhart took off from Newfoundland, Canada, to land in Ireland the next day, almost 15 hours later, becoming the first woman to fly alone across the Atlantic Ocean. Amelia Earhart first made headlines in 1928 when she became the first woman to cross the Atlantic as a passenger on a transatlantic flight. Although she earned him international fame, Earhart did not give it much importance because she did not have the controls for the device. For years later, Earhart tried to fly on her own. The only person who had ever flown across the Atlantic alone was Charles Lindbergh. Aviator Ruth Nichols had tried to fly in 1931, but had an accident in Canada. On May 20, 1932, five years after Lindbergh's flight, Earhart took off from Harbor Grace, Newfoundland, in his red Lockheed Vega 5B. During the crossing, she faced many difficulties, fatigue, a damaged gas tank, and a rupture in the hull that caused flames on the side of the engine. In addition, ice formed on the wings of the Vega, which caused an uncontrollable fall of 3,000 feet, reaching the crest of the waves. Earhart had planned to fly to Paris the same destination as Lindbergh, but time and mechanical problems landed her on a farm near Derry, Ireland completing the flight in 14 hours and 56 minutes. Earhart described his landing in the middle of the pasture. After scaring most of the cows in the village, I landed in the backyard of a farm. Upon his return to the United States, Earhart was met with great honors. A parade was held through the streets of New York, and she received the National Geographic Society Medal from President Hoover and the Distinguished Flying Cross Medal from Congress. Born in Kansas in 1897, Amelia worked as a nurse's assistant, and social worker before learning to fly and by her own plane in 1921. She broke the female height record in 1923, and in 1928 her future husband, publicist George Putnam, offered him the opportunity to be the first woman to take a transatlantic flight. Earhart formed 99s, the first organization of female pilots, with 98 other female aviators, breaking several female flight records before her 1932 transatlantic flight. She was also the first person to fly over the Atlantic alone twice, and the first woman flying around the United States nonstop. Her career ended with her disappearance in 1937, in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, during an attempt to fly over the planet. Her body was never found. Did you like the video? In the description you will find the blog link with the full article. Give an incentive by subscribing to the channel, liking, commenting and sharing with your friends, hugs. Until the next.